Hello everyone and welcome back. It's nice to see everyone again. I hope you got to go out and enjoy this beautiful week. All right, and this will be the general weekly reading for the sign of Aries for the week of August 8th through the 14th of 2022. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's nice to see you all again. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up subscribed and left comments thank you very much for doing that it is greatly appreciated it's nice to know that you're willing to come back every week and have your tarot card reading by me it is greatly appreciated thank you i feel honored thank you for that all right aries what's in store for you and your first card out this week is the Knight of Swords. Stand in your ground. Having to defend yourself. Maybe having a few words with somebody. Some sort of blowout going on. You know, some sort of friendship or relationship cooling off. You're starting to see the true colors. Uh, perhaps you're thinking of uh, taking a quick trip somewhere, maybe getting an invitation to go fly somewhere, someplace you haven't been or wanted to always go and have a look, some sort of excitement, you know, trip in store for you in the very near future. And the Hermit. Nice. So, taking a step back, time out, reflecting a little bit, going solo a little bit for yourself, removing yourself from all the chaos in your daily life here just trying to get your head clear on which way you want to go about all all of what's you're deciding in your life this week and the three of cups so some sort of celebration an invitation uh, this could be you handing out invitations or this could be somebody asking you if you want to go to maybe a family reunion, a picnic, uh, a get-together birthday, celebrating a retirement, um, just a very good get-together with good friends and you're in quite enjoying yourself. They're enjoying your um, input in, into all this. You just, you just mesh and you get along really well. You enjoy each other's company. That's very nice and justice so having to get some sort of um dealing with some files or paperwork here this week as well uh, could be some sort of court case divorce settlement uh, maybe you're giving some advice or maybe this is something that you're going through yourself some sort of legal contract um, you know, some sort of settlement coming in this year or this year. Well, it will be this year if it's this week, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, you're getting some sort of clarity, you know, settling old accounts, debts being cleared, you know, improving yourself, committing to something and being honest about it and the page of pentacles. So good news coming in, some sort of opportunity knocks and, and you know, you're going to uh, take it in, under consideration, you know, but you got to give up something in order to go forward. So one door's got to close and then you're off and going on your new adventure. And judgment. Now, whether you're feeling judged, you're judging others. You know, something that you've put off for a long time. You know, time's up. You need to uh, deal with this matter. So that you can, uh, don't, you know, don't feel guilty or any of that. You, you can lose all that and let it go. You know, some sort of emotional um, tie here that's been bothering you for quite a while. You know, lean on your intuition here because it will help you to know the right steps to take for yourself so that you can uh, let this go and keep going. You know, maybe you're giving up some sort of bad habits that you have, you know, or some people 
in your life as well. Some people that, you know, just help lead you astray to the not where you want to be in life. And the lovers. You know, you're going to now have to commit to something or a person, a career, some sort of passion that speaks to your heart. Something that, you know, you know is the right thing for you. You're not going to let anybody sway you or, or change your mind about this. You know, you're going to have to decide to be more like, in some cases for some of you, um, more like the partner that you're looking for. You know, you can't decide that, oh, I'm not going to get somebody that has curly hair because the last guy or, you know, he was a Gemini or whatever. You know, I won't ever date them again. You can't judge all the same books by the, you know, by the covers. All right. And a nine of rods. So you've had to stand your ground. Get, you know, try to sway people to coming around to your way of thinking, you know, what you're, what you want in your life. And you're just tired of having to defend yourself or stand up for yourself. And I think that's why you're making that judgment call on who you want to spend your time with, your quality time. You know, you're just tired of people always saying the wrong things and you feeling like you're having to stand up for yourself all the time every time you hang around with them. And the star. So there you are. You know, believe in yourself and anything you start today is possible. That's a very true one. You know, you're, you're going to just move forward. You know what you want in your life. You know what you don't want in your life. And you're not going to be persuaded or, or change your mind by anything anybody's going to say. You know, you're going to open your heart to receiving what's the right thing for you. And the Eight of Rods. So fast moving. Information coming in. Um, for some of you, maybe you've put in for a job and, and they're saying, you know, here it is. Come on. You know, let's start tomorrow. Others, it's, uh, you know, some sort of paperwork coming in. Something that you've put out into the universe that you wanted an answer on is coming in this week quite quickly and quite clearly. And the devil. All right. So, you know, it's the best and the worst of everything. It always is. You know, what? maybe you're just feeling a little bit tied down to a place or a thing, you know, for nostalgia reasons or family. And you uh, feel that maybe, you know, you might be a little bit better off being over there if you just cut your ties and... and move yourself forward but that is hard to do it really is and I understand that but I think you're trying to figure out how to go about that this week to give yourself some sort of hope and the seven of pentacles so yeah, you put a lot of foundation down you you know put a lot of work into different things you've you know waiting for your pentacles to grow come to fruition you know see some sort of growth for all that you've put out there which is lovely. And the three of rods. So yeah, you're on good foundation. You put a lot of ships out there. You're just sort of waiting, you know, to see which ones are going to come back in. That's going to bring you what you want. And, you know, it's, it is growing and, and uh, it's coming. But I don't think it's going to be the way you quite thought it was going to be. Or with the person that you thought it was going to go forward with. And the Eight of Pentacles. So, hard at work, studying, doing your job, you know, head down, going forward. Maybe you're thinking of taking some sort of classes or, or teaching, um, you know, what, what craft it is that you already know. You're very good at it. People look up to you for it. Uh, they come to you for advice and, and, uh, and your craftsmanship. So, maybe you're thinking of starting your own business here. And the Five of Swords. So I definitely had to stand your ground with somebody or some people in some cases. It can be more than one person. You know, you've had to stand your ground, you know, uh, make your decision, tell people to just, you know, back off, 
you know, that you're doing this because this is what you want to do, sort of thing. You, you'll win the arguments, but will you be happy in the end? You know, you have to try not to burn too many bridges or say too much that you can't retract later. Ah, and the Ace of Pentacles, so very nice. You know, you got things are, it's a lucky card, prospects, work, uh, tangible goods coming in, material gains, uh, maybe the diet that you've been on or going on is now starting to pay off. People are starting to pay you compliments and notice. You're feeling good about yourself, renewed, rejoicing. It's a very lucky card. You know, maybe on a lark buy a lottery card you might uh, might win a little bit of money all right Aries I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card and see what other kind of clarity we've got coming here I mean your overall week looks very good you've got a lot of clarity here you're taking the time out where it needs you're having a few get-togethers with some friends a uh, few a few of people that you know you're gonna let go and in, into the past so that you can have more what you're looking for in your future. So, and sometimes that's what we have to do to move forward. All right. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. Isn't that a lovely card? So Aries, shine your light, stand your ground. Show people what you're really made of. You're a very good person with good hearts. You, you aim for, you know, pleasing all and, and going forward. You're a very good um, inspiration for others to move forward in life and anything you start you can do it you just have to go with the willpower to follow through all right and on that note i will say thank you again and bye for now and i will talk to you next week until then stay safe stay healthy and bye for now